YouTuber Tim Black recently had Green Party candidate Jill Stein on his talk show. She made some very interesting points, and I'd recommend checking out both his interview and Tim's channel in general. He's got a lot of interesting and original thoughts, and he's definitely worth a subscribe. During the interview, Tim asked her if a vote for her was a vote for Donald Trump, meaning basically that if you vote for her, you're taking away votes from Hillary Clinton and thus enabling Donald Trump. It's the same argument people used for voting for Al Gore rather than Ralph Nader back in 2000. Her argument was essentially that if enough people who are in debt, in poverty, or are otherwise disadvantaged by the status quo vote for her, she can win, so it won't be a wasted vote. Now I like Jill Stein, and the Green Party in general. Uh, some of their anti-nuclear and anti-vaccine positions are a little too much for me, but overall they're probably my favorite third party, and the one that closest represents my views. But unfortunately this year, I don't think I can give them my vote. I supported Bernie Sanders in the Democratic primary, and believe me when I say that voting for Hillary Clinton is not something that I'm happy about. She is someone who will basically flip-flop back and forth and will do whatever she can to get elected. Between Bernie and Hillary, it's really no contest. It never was one for me. But now we have a choice between Hillary and Trump. And a lot of people are saying, well, I don't even want either of these two. Why should I vote for her? I think that usually... This sort of argument is not going to be something that I object to. I mean, the status quo, the two-party system, it's not something that I'm happy about. I think both parties essentially agree on the neoliberal economic consensus being favorable to Wall Street. You know, they're both familiar with how the game is played, and they're okay with it. They don't represent us, and Bernie Sanders did. That's why he inspired such enthusiasm and passion in us. Because for decades, it felt like we were just enduring one long setback as progressives. We were not having a voice that represented us. And finally, we did. And he lost. So, is voting for Hillary Clinton something that you should do? I'm going to argue that, yes, it is. Any other year, I probably wouldn't. If this was a repeat of 2012 where we just had some wishy-washy Democrat candidate against some wishy-washy Republican candidate, I probably would just say, screw it, vote third party. But this is not that year. There's a big yellow elephant in the room that is the reason I can't vote for Jill Stein. And that elephant is Donald motherfucking Trump. Donald Trump is the single greatest danger to our republic in over a generation, probably even longer. There's no other candidate in recent memory who stands a greater chance of damaging the United States than he does. If he were elected, our democracy would be at risk. If he were elected, millions of Americans, because of their race or their nationality, would be in danger. If he were elected... I shudder to think of the world he would leave in his wake. And that's why this year I'm swallowing my pride and my distaste and voting for Hillary Clinton. I don't think, even though Bernie Sanders managed to change the Democratic Party platform, that she's going to be a particularly progressive president. I think she's essentially going to be a third term for Obama, which is not something I'm going to be happy about. But I'll take disappointment. I'll take mild disgust with the political system over fear and terror and hatred, which is what I would feel if Donald Trump were president. This year is different. 2016 is not a year where you can vote third party, because unlike other election years, there actually is a difference between these two candidates. Hillary Clinton is a continuation of the status quo. Donald Trump is a danger to our entire country. And that's why I think, as a Bernie supporter, I need to swallow my pride and vote for Hillary. I'm not saying you need to be happy about this if you support a Bernie. I'm not saying you need to be enthusiastic for Hillary. I'm not saying you even need to like her. But this year is a year where we need to put aside our dislike of the political process and just prevent someone who will destroy our country from taking power. This year, you need to 
ignore your dis your distaste with the process and simply vote for someone who, even though you may not like her, will not destroy this country. I'm not happy about this. I know that you're not either if you supported Bernie. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And in 2020, when she's running for re-election against some generic Republican, if she wins, I'll probably vote green. But this year, it's too dangerous. Too much is at stake. For the sake of our country, do what you have to do and vote for her.